Welcome to my quick tutorial on how to modify your Haltech IC7 screen. Um, here's my interior of my RX7. Um, as you can see, I do have an IC7 and the display has been modified to kind of change some of the colors, etc. Um, I have changed it to a couple of other ways. Um, I was just kind of playing around. Um, I wanted to match my honeycomb uh, dash kit with the dash itself. Um, here are some of the images. Um, I also kind of played around and put a picture of my car. Um, and But ultimately this was kind of the look that I was looking for. Uh, background to have that honeycomb look. Um, and. So, so I'm going to show you guys how I did this. Um, so bear with me. So first, what you would need to do is you need to plug in your Haltech uh, IC7 onto your, your um, laptop or desktop or whatever device you have. I'm currently using a um, uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 6. Um, I'm going to power it up. So as soon as I power up the IC7, you get a notification about the USB. Um, so, um, so you will see that that the USB drive shows up on your your computer at this point what I do is I will download um, the images so again that was on dash dash status QML roots and all the dash images are located right here in images and as you could see you see some of the backgrounds um, what I'll be changing today is the this one, the hero screen side gauges, and also the hero screen tack, taco. Uh, so what I do is I actually put these two images in, onto a desktop, open it into Photoshop is what I use, um, and then modify. So. Here is what I did. This is my modification that I did using um, Photoshop. So, um, and the center. So these are the two images that I did. Now you're wondering how do I swap these two out? So um, I already made the two um, right there. So all you have to do is uh, drag the two files into that image and then replace okay so now once you replace it those two are now um, actually I forgot to uh, it looks like it did not replace this one so I'm going to delete this so just to let you know, um, the image size has to be exactly the same when you are saving it. Um, and also, just to let you know, um, the file name has to be exactly the, exactly the same. The files are uh, saved under PNG format. So both of those format has to be exactly how Haltech has done it. Otherwise, the dash cannot read it. Um, so after you do both, close it all up, open your IC7 or ICC program. Um, now what you're going to do is, um, because you already installed um, your files onto the IC7, now load from the dash it will be different from if you plugged in your IC7 to your laptop before then it's gonna state that the data is um, 
identical and if you want to load it you say yes now the image should show up so now you could see my my outer background the center is changed um, and at this point um, what I usually do is update dash and your screen will then update to the current um, image that you see on your laptop. So you just wait and the IC7 will restart. Um, and then once it restarts, your, um, your design should show up on your dash. And that's it. Um, it's fairly simple. Um, hopefully this helps with those who want to modify your, um, your dash. All right. Thank you.